Okay, this is NCRT Math Solutions Chapter Number Four Quadratic Equations, Exercise Four Point Two, Question Four. The problem is find two consecutive positive integers, sum of whose squares is three sixty-five. Okay, let's go through solution. Let first number be equal to x, and let second number equal to x plus 1 because they are consecutive that's why the difference between the first number and second number is just 1 now according to the given condition sum of their squares is equal to 365 so we can say that x square plus x plus 1 whole square is equal to 365 so this is equal to x square and I can expand this term x plus 1 whole square it's equal to x square plus 1 plus 2x equal to 365 this is because a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab and this x square plus x square is equal to 2x square and it's 2x plus 1 equal to 365 now I can take this 365 to the left hand side and it becomes minus 364 combining with this plus 1 and it's equal to zero. Now I can divide the, this whole equation by two because we I can take two common from the whole equation. Let's see. or I can write something like that: two times x squared plus x minus 182 equal to zero. And this is equal to x squared plus x minus 182 equal to zero. Now I need to solve this equation by the method of factorization or any other method let's solve this by the method of factorization then if I solve it then I will get two numbers and some of the squares of those numbers would be equal to 365 okay in order to solve any equation any given quadratic equation by factorization first we multiply these two terms x squared times 182 and we check their product is equal to minus 182x squared. Now we want to split this x in such a way that the product of those two terms is equal to minus 182x squared. So we check different combination of this x. For example, this x is equal to 10x minus 9x. And the product of 10x and minus 9x is equal to minus 90x squared. But we need minus 182x squared. So we move further. 11x minus 10x is also equal to x and the product is equal, is equal to minus 110 x squared but we need 182 so we move further so as we move further we will reach this combination 14 x minus 13 x is also equal to x and the product is equal to minus 182 x squared and we can check that 14 times 13 equal to 182 so 14x times minus 13x is equal to minus 182 x squared so I can split this x into 14x minus 13x minus 182 plus 0 now I can take x common from the first two terms and I can take minus 13 common from the next two terms and I get x plus 14 in the brackets now you can take x plus 14 common from the next two terms, from these terms, from this term and this term. x plus 14 would be the common. And x minus 13 equals 0 here. Now if I equate both of these terms equal to 0, I get x is equal to minus 14 from this term and x is equal to 13 from this term. But it is clearly mentioned in the question that find two consecutive positive integers, but minus 14 is not positive, so we can directly discard this value. So we will just consider this x is equal to 13. So we have just x is equal to 13 here. So first number here, which we supposed is equal to x, is equal to 13. And second number 
is equal to x plus 1 we supposed and it's equal to 13 plus 1 is equal to 14 therefore 13 and 14 are two consecutive numbers whose sum of squares is equal to 365 so that's the solution the next video I'll be covering problem number 5 for exercise 4.2 quadratic equations chapter 4 okay see you guys